Hey guys, so we stayed at the Ibera Star Grand Pariso Hotel in Cancun, Mexico, and the first part of this video is going to be showing you around all of our resort plus our room, and then towards the end of the video, I will show you all of the food, and at the very end, stay tuned for my final review of this resort. Do you like the view? It's amazing. Oh, yes, it is. Really, really nice. Very gorgeous. Basically, what I want is if you are so kind to sign this document. It's for mm -hmm. the registry. Uh, no, it stays uh, the whole stay, but it's not really uncomfortable. How do you feel this time? That's fine. Yep. Okay. In the building 71, this is the big dome that you are coming from. There are six different restaurants. The closest from us, you will find it just walking a little bit. This is the lunch. Every day is working from 11.30 till 5. Okay. And finally, I would like to explain you about the amenities that you'll find in the room. In okay. this brochure is information for room service. It's 24-7, completely oh, complimentary. Nice. Okay. Uh, remember that the AC is going to be working when the doors are closed. The main and the balcony. If you open one of these doors, it stops. I forgot to ask you, do you have any food allergy that we need to be aware of? No. Perfect. When you have time, please stop by the concierge desk in the first floor at the end of the corridor to make the reservation for the restaurants. Okay. If you need any assistance uh, on the phone, our essential is guest service 24. So here's when you walk in and then there's this big closet right here and the safe is in this spot. And then here's like a little mini bar, mini fridge and glassware. And then the bathroom with two mirrors and these doors close. And then the bathtub, shower, I do like their separate vanities, so his and hers, and then the toilet room. And then we've got another big closet right here, which is really nice. There's tons of closet space. And then the main room, the big bed. Also, I noticed the lights turn off if you like sit on the bed for a while and you're not moving, the lights automatically turn off, so it saves energy. And then this is a mess, but there's like a little packing spot and television. 
we brought our own Roku because then we can watch like Netflix and stuff at night if we want. And then this area right here, there's like a little step down. And then this is where they usually bring the room service, little chase lounge. And then out here, we got an oceanfront room. So there's the ocean right there. We're on the second floor. And then there's like a little couch, which I like to sit out there and read or take a nap. And then over here, where my husband's drying out all of his laundry, there's a little swinging chair. Okay, I just want to point out some nice touches. We just got back to our room and they have like a sweet little note with a rose. They like folded clothes and they just like tidy everything up. They also like restocked everything with like tons more stuff. And then in the bathroom, this was like a huge mess. So they like put everything back and like made it all nice. They like put our toothbrush, like it's so nice. So I love when they have like really good housekeeping like that. Our last night. This is the main pool. There's a swim up bar and then the ocean is right there. And I'm actually gonna walk down to the quiet pool. So the beaches, they have a lot of seaweed, which is kind of um, unpreventable, you know? But that's the Ibero Star, and we're walking down, and you can kind of see the different um, resorts. So if you're at the Grand, you'll get this wristband, and you can go to any of the resorts. So it's kind of nice to stay at this one because then you can still go to all of these too and we can like go up there and like get a drink or have some food at any of these spots down here. It's a little bit more crowded down here though too, right? Like our beach, there was nobody out and then these beaches are more yeah. crowded. But there's also um, kids are allowed over here. The one we're staying at, there's no children. So this is like the main front lobby and here is like a big atrium. It's really pretty. And there's like some seating down there. And then around the circle they just have like shops. And then there's a cigar lounge and a sports bar. And then over here is like a little bar. I'm actually gonna go get an iced coffee and probably a little pastry from over here. big this is like right outside the Japanese restaurant ready where would you like to sit this uh, in the middle maybe yeah middle sure. <laughs> All right, we just got to the show. This is a legit theater. Tonight is Boogie Nights, I think is what it's called. But what? We love pop. Now I'm gonna show you guys all the yummy food that we ate and just look at the bottom right corner to see my rating for each restaurant. All right, so this is our first room service order, which is breakfast. I think this is like the, I don't know, continental. I don't think they did it right, honey. I think we were supposed to have an omelet. Um, so it looks like eggs, bacon, toast, a waffle, jams and stuff. That's right, I got a waffle and Crackers. a cheese plate. You got a cheese plate? Yeah, it's cheese. Okay, so cheeses. Um, this is coffee, but then this one is espresso, and then this one's milk. So that's kind of nice, because I like espresso. And then this is called their detox juice, which is like celery juice, um and some other vegetables and stuff, so I'm looking forward to tasting that. Syrup, 
That looks like some sort of tomato. I'm excited blend. for this. Tonight we are at Hibachi, and it looks really nice. The restaurant is gorgeous. I actually see the ocean right there. lunch um, right by the pool they have like a grill and they're just grilling burgers so I got chips with pico and guac and their guac actually all of it the chips the pico and the guac are really really good probably like my favorite thing at the resort and then this burger is amazing it's so good so fresh and they just put I just put guacamole on it So we're at the French restaurant. The butter choices are plain chocolate and what is that last one? I still didn't really understand I'm not it. Not sure. Cool play. Well, really cool presentation. Goat cheese, mussels. And what was that last one? Something with pistachio. This looks amazing. This is like basically fried cheese and tomatoes. And David got an eggplant filled with cheese. Also yeah. cheese. <laughs> cheese is my favorite food, so this is working out great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The bread is in choking. Yeah, I think so. That doesn't sound bad. I read that. It looks like a little planet, this doesn't it? This is like a pistachio thing. David got the cheese puffs. So fancy. So fancy. We just got our lunch, which they have like a little grill over there, and they just like grill you burgers. They've got like jambalaya and chips and guac and pico and nacho cheese. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, so they have like little small appetizers that you can just go over and grab at the buffet. So we had some sort of crostini and then, um, what's that tomato? Caprese, caprese salad. And then this looks like a shrimp cerveche, I think they called it. And then we ordered from the menu as well. All right, king, king crab legs. David got the lobster. I don't know how to get it out. This is grouper and shrimp risotto. And then this is some sort of chocolate something. And those are mint. What'd you get? Jello? That's like jello. Cream. Like a souffle. I should have camera. Nobody even needs a camera. Alright, this is the pear salad and it's like little pear slices and blue cheese. <laughs> Quiche. Awesome, sweet. Is that like wrapped in bacon? Yes. That <laughs> looks delicious. I think it will be. And that's tartar sauce. So. Ew. Surf and turf. Mashed potatoes. And David Hopkins. And 
french fries. There you go. So some of the things that I really loved about this resort is that it was really quiet. I don't know if it was just this time of the year. We did go in June, but it was very quiet and it's also very spacious. There's plenty of room to just walk around, to lay out, to kind of do anything and be quiet and alone. I will also say the food at this resort was very, very good. We've stayed at three different resorts in this area and this food was by far the best. I also enjoyed that it was connected to different resorts as well so some nights we would go out to the casino or the dance club if you kind of just wanted to get away and have more people around you. Another thing I really loved about this resort was the gym. So they had a smaller gym that was on our resort but then we would actually jog up to this larger gym that was for all of the resorts and it was a really nice big gym and it also had a full schedule of classes. Everybody at this resort was extremely accommodating and polite and kind. I cannot say enough about the service here at this resort. And I also enjoyed the room service menu. It had plenty of options and it was 24 seven and it was also included in our regular all-inclusive room rates. Now, some of the things that I didn't love that much about this resort, number one being the ocean. As you could kind of see, there was a lot of seaweed where we stayed, and I'm not sure if it was just that time of the year or if it was just that part of the island, but it did have a lot of seaweed, so it wasn't really great for getting in the water or swimming. Another thing that I did not like was the shows. I did appreciate that they had varieties of shows for nighttime, however I felt like the shows just weren't as good as some of the shows I've seen at other resorts. And lastly for meals, I feel like lunch was a little bit neglected. There wasn't really a lot of restaurants for lunch, it was kind of just grab and go, um, grills out by the pool, but it was really delicious. I just wish there were some more options where we could maybe go sit down and have lunch. Overall, I think this resort was really beautiful, really wonderful. I would definitely recommend staying here and I would definitely stay here again if we had the opportunity. And if you guys are new to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. I do also have a few more videos related to travel as well as motherhood, lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and pretty much everything in between.